Hi, I'm Chef Brendan Darby. We're here in Santa Cruz, California at Love Apple Farms, the experts of all things gardening. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to add butternut squash to a spaghetti sauce. For our spaghetti sauce, we are gonna use garlic, egg yolks, uh, soybeans, prosciutto, and our butternut squash. We're also gonna cream it up with a little goat milk, a white onion, and some white wine infusion. We're gonna start by adding a little olive oil to our pan. We want a pan that's nice and hot. We're going to coat the bottom and then we're going to add our butternut squash. And we're going to get a little bit of browning on all sides of these cubes of butternut squash. Give them a nice little toss. And we're going to let those brown a little bit. Next, I'm going to add my white onions. And we want to let these caramelize as well with our butternut squash. We want color. We want lots and lots, and lots of color because that's where we get most of our flavor in this sauce. Uh, it's going to give it some more oh, hardiness and roundness of flavor. So that's going to cook down just a little bit. And while that's going, I'm just going to chop my herbs. I've got a little bit of rosemary here. I'm going to chop this nice and fine. They are fresh herbs. If you use fresh herbs, you can add them in whole. That's totally fine. Fresh herbs are a little bit easier to chew. They don't, they're not so woody like uh, dried herbs are. All right, and while that's caramelizing, I'm just gonna add a little bit of white wine just to start, just so my butternut squash gets cooked a little bit more. Right, and at this point, I'm going to add some of these toasted Soybeans. Um, I went to the store the other day and found that pine nuts were $35 a pound uh, for soybeans, or for pine nuts, which is kind of ridiculous, but soybeans are $3 a pound. They're much cheaper and they taste a little bit better. And so we're going to add those. Those are going to be a little bit of our crunch factor in this, in this pasta sauce. I'm also gonna add my prosciutto. There's a little bit of fat on here, so that's gonna help add some oil to the pan. And this flavor has some salt, so it'll absorb into our butternut squash as well. Nice and delicious. And we might get a little bit of uh, browning on that prosciutto as well. Now that we have some good, nice color on our, our butternut squash there, I'm gonna add a little white wine to deglaze. We'll let that cook down a little bit, let some of that evaporate. I'm also going to add my herbs. And at this point I want to turn the heat down pretty low. I'm going to add my goat milk. Goat milk is something I've been like really starting to like. It definitely gives it a more richer flavor and it also has less uh, cholesterol and trans fats, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna let that cook down just a little bit. Once that gets nice and reduced, I'm going to add my uh, egg yolks. The egg yolks are gonna clean this up, or cream this up and uh, thicken it. And you're gonna get a nice, beautiful yellow sauce. So we're gonna break those yolks. You see all those beautiful colors, different textures. Looks really nice. And by continuing to stir, you'll make sure you don't get any, any curdled egg yolks in there. All right, starting to thicken up now. Okay, now I'm going to season with a little salt, a little pepper. I'm going to shut my heat off as well. All right, stir that in. Nice creamy consistency, not too thick or too rich. I'm just gonna grab my pasta, throw that down on the plate. It's a type that my grandma used to make and it's the scraps from all the pasta you make. So you just tear up the little pieces, put them on the plate. It looks really, really beautiful, very rustic. I'm just gonna dollop a little bit of this sauce on top, making sure to get everything that we put in there on, onto our pasta, nice and beautiful. And we'll garnish with a little bit of basil. 
And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy way to add butternut squash to spaghetti sauce. Uh, if for more information about making pasta or how to make it by hand, check out our website, loveapplefarms.com. Mm -hmm.